welcome to Kicking Back uh, for a slightly different episode. Yeah. Eh? This is fun. Uh, we've been moaning about the cold that many weeks now that we thought, let's just get it over and done with and just embrace it. Let's just sit in it. Let's just be in it <laughs> and be amongst it. We're here. Do you know what? On this show, like we talk a lot about football and what's going on externally, but we don't ever really talk about what we do and yeah. what we cover. So it's a bit of a different episode, I guess, but it's a really fun one, right? We're here at Ewood Park magical little place magical ground in it and uh i think people might not know because we don't go into it that at all so like you have a history with this club yeah i have a history with this club yeah i guess tell people a bit go on what yeah. do you like when did you first come into contact with blackburn rovers so i mean i've been here quite a while <laughs> yeah <laughs> Time, quite right? a while <laughs> yeah um so i mean of course like i've i've played here a long time played in the academy and that and now in the first team um but yeah i mean it's been it's been good so far you know it's a long journey isn't it to start it at like when, when did you first actually um play for the academy was were you eight or something uh no i was a bit older i so i started out at united and then right. i came over here um when i was about i think it was like the under 15s or something like oh, that and then okay. all the systems changed and the academy's changed and you know when women's football is growing all the time as we know so obviously it's changed a lot now and then went away a little bit went to uni and things like that and then come back and of course we compete in the championship now so it's a good level it's you know it's it's a great league yeah and to play here as well it's it's great when we get the chance to play here it's gotta be mad i that, love it. it it's crazy isn't it <laughs> We were yeah. talking a little bit before about like how there's a difference between this pitch and other pitches and you kind of get used to it over time, right? Like, I guess that you grow as a player all the time and it always... But this is like a mark of how far the game's coming, isn't it, in some ways? That games are being played here and now for the women as well. Yeah. Um, the atmosphere is unbelievable when women play here. I've, I've been a couple of times. And I guess, what is it like, actually, to step on that pitch and play for Blackburn Rovers to put their colours like, It's mad, isn't it? It's it, absolutely to mad be fair, to be there. Yeah, no, it is. It is. And like playing in them for so long, like it just feels like it's hard to describe. It just feels like, it feel normal, natural. It, yeah, that's what I was trying to get, get at. You. Yeah, it does. And you know what? I feel like, for example, when I was playing in the academy, you were a fan of Blackburn Rovers and yeah. I didn't even know you then. So I weird, find that it? mad. Yeah, like, it is weird. It is weird. Yeah. Like, hey, so like I've followed this club my whole life. I used to sit. So I am now the announcer. I guess I should say that as yeah. well. I'm now the announcer for Blackburn Rovers. I feel so lucky and like unbelievably privileged to do that. It's crazy. I've been sat at this club I sat right above that red R. I don't know like, if you can see that. Yeah, we'll find I it. hope so. It's like I was there for about 20 years of my life and... I was right behind that pole where it just so happened every free kick got taken, every every little tackle, everything was behind that pole, and I was so it's a, it, like I have been here for a long, long time, and you saw the good times. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, God, yeah. I saw like when I started. Basically, when I came in, we just won the Worthington Cup, and from there, I got used to that. A Do lot you know of people I mean? won't know what that is now, you know. Yeah. Well, to be honest, like it's changed that much, hasn't it, over yeah. the years? Like, if I tell you now, and we record this, and then like in a month, it'll be someone else as well. So like. I remember two th- cause I was I remember like at the t- at the time it was players like David Dunn, Matt Janssen, uh, Andy Cole just came in with Dwight York. Uh, the team was so like unbelievable, and that's what I was used to. So I've actually seen the club go like up and down, yeah. and where we're at like right now. I got honest, a minute. Dwight go York on. was here. Dwight York, here, yeah, yeah. Really? We had Cole and York together, yeah. <laughs> You know United, don't you? Like, I we actually had didn't know that. We had Mark Hughes. Yeah, we had a couple of players. I remember Mar- when, yeah, the first ever, like, picture, because you could get, the, like, the squad sheet, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, So yeah. you could get the old squad, like, sat with each other. The first picture I had, Mark Hughes was in it, for sure. Yeah. Because he was, like, sat on... We had loads of old United players. That's yeah. mad. It's crazy, isn't it? And, like... Brad Friedel. Brad Friedel's my favourite <laughs> player. Ever. Oh, I'll tell you a story about Brad Friedel. So I was a mascot <laughs> once. I was about 10, 11 years old. I was literally stood there. And like they came in and they said, "Okay, which one of you likes goalkeeping?" And I was like, "Me, I'm putting other lads' hands down." And they were like, "Right, you can be Brad Friedel's like partner <laughs> when you go out." And I was like, oh, "Unbelievable!" I were about that eye off the ground. He, they were the biggest man I've ever seen by a country mile. They were like ten foot tall, and he was lovely. He was such a gem. Do you know what? Actually, because I'm guessing when you've got a game 
and you're like ready to walk out, you are solely focused on what's going out, what's about to happen, right? Yeah. And somehow, Brad Friedel, he, he talked to me for about 10 minutes. Did he? Yeah, I would, it was Boxing what Day. What did he say? He, told, he said, did you, did you have a nice Christmas? Oh. I said, I did, yeah. <laughs> and he went, what did you get? And I was telling him, and I'm there like, he must be thinking solely about like, I've got to get three points in the Premier League yeah, here. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. well, Brad, I got a little Yoshi Teddy oh. and all this. And he's like, oh, did you? And no. I'm like, yeah. And then I remember Gary Flickcroft, who was the captain at the time, he sort of like brushed past me. Went, Come on, boys! And I was terrified. Oh, I can't God. lie. I was like mortified. But it was such a trip, such an experience. Like I've had so much history with this club. And now to be here doing even this. Yeah. This is quite mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. And uh, with the announcer thing. Yeah. Like what like what is that? I it, wanna know a bit more of it. So I guess from my point of view, and I started like doing little bits and bobs in sports announcing. So I've always done stand up. Yeah. But then something came along where it was like, Do you wanna go and do a bit of commentary in Poland? And I said, Yeah, go on. And then that led to Somehow, inexplicably. Commentary for football or? Professional wrestling. Oh. <laughs> Mental. I couldn't believe of that course. I got asked. It was crazy. <laughs> and then off the back of that, I wound up doing like in-ring interviews for like Floyd Mayweather and stuff when he boxed. So then it's like, so that somehow now I'm doing sports stuff. I love sports. I've loved it my whole life. Like it is, it's what I do when I'm not doing any, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I go to. Uh, boxing, football, That that's me, those two. And like... I asked at Rovers if there was anything, like if they ever need someone, if there's ever a game off, and then tragically, like the the announcer Matt Silito, he passed away at such a young age, thirty. That was like so hard to like get my head around and, and understand. But when when he passed away, I'd emailed like months earlier to say if you ever need anybody, let me know. So then I got this call, and I was thrown in. Actually, interestingly enough, the first game that I covered for Rovers was the 5,000th game. Wow. This was 5,000th league game and we played Middlesbrough and they brought out pretty much every player you could imagine onto the pitch right at the start. So it was such an intense game. We had such a good attendance uh, to get going. And it's, it's. I feel, I've, I don't work here. Yeah. Like there's no yeah, work yeah. going on. You're I good love at it. it. You are good at I it. I like it. <laughs> I'm playing, I can hear you. <laughs> I like it. I enjoy it. I love it. Um, it doesn't feel like work at all. Basically, I'd be here anyway. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'd be here regardless. So the fact that I get to do it is crazy. I will, uh, I normally arrive about two hours before a game, uh, head up there, just get prepared and stuff like that. And I tend to have a habit of looking at the other team and figuring out, okay, who's going to, who's got a difficult name. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> do about 10 minutes. I thought you were going to say who's going to be a threat or no, a no, goal no, or whatever. No. That's the thing though. No. You don't even look at it like that. It's like, you're looking at all these players and you're just thinking, oh, hang on, I, don't, I can't say that. <laughs> like, you know, so then I'm on Google getting pronunciations up yeah. like that and writing yeah, down okay, little yeah. versions. And then it's just a case of enjoying it. I don't put much thought into it outside of that. It's like, I don't have to fake enthusiasm. Do you know what I mean? I don't yeah. have to fake like excitement. I'm buzzing. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. It is wild. Hey, it's one for you then. So I said Brad Friedel was my favourite player ever. Who's your favourite Rovers player ever, <laughs> ever? Like you know what? I'm going to go on a, on a bit of what you just said. I'm going to go for Rocky Santa Cruz. Ah, just because okay. I loved his name. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a <laughs> I cool loved name. his name, yeah. I remember I was about, I can't remember, I think I was like 10, 11. Just loved it. And yeah. He was a great player as well, oh, of course. Yeah, it was so. all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did have a bit of that. I'd love to say that. Rocky Santa Cruz. Oh, yeah. that was a proper like. I wish moment. I knew Dwight York played here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Before yeah. this episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of the players we've had over the years are unbelievable. The thing mm. that I used to really love about Brad Friedel, and by the way, the teams that were coming here at the time that you just took for granted, you didn't even realise, like Thierry Henry would just be like moseying up and down the pitch, yeah. you know, gloves and all. And I remember think the thing with Brad Friedel was, and I've never felt this since, honestly. It's like if a player was through on goal and it was one on one. I'd be like, don't worry, let's. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's yeah, okay. okay yeah. Brad Friedel's there. It was crazy. Uh, he was so confident and composed. So, yeah, I've got to say he was my favourite player. Um, yeah. And oh, and actually, by the way, guys, I just want to say a very big thank you to Fiber Sports. Uh, memorabilia for coming on board and supporting us we were just at a really early stage with this podcast and getting it to where we want it to be and this is a big moment I think because we want to go and do stuff outside out and about right like this is a big one and we're probably going to go to other grounds and they've come on board really early and they're helping us do it they're helping us 
grow this thing. So, uh, five of sports memorabilia. If you don't know, uh, do check them out. They do. I was talking about boxing. They do memorabilia from guys like Frank Bruno, Tyson Fury, the biggest names in the sport, Ricky Hatton, guys like that. They also do football stuff, which is obviously the reason we're all here. Uh, you could talking about players like. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold they just did a sign-in with him they get all the biggest players really and they do signings with them so if there's a, spe a specific player that you're looking for a bit of gear from whether it's like an autograph or a signed print maybe a signed boot they've got they're sending us some cool stuff that we mm -hmm. get to show very soon I'm looking forward to that uh, then you really should check them out because they've supported us we want everybody to support them so go and check them out at fibersportsmemorabilia.com links will be in the socials and uh, yeah a big big thank you to them okay uh, it's quiz time. <laughs> so, yes, uh, we have decided, right? Blackburn. Now, it's not fair to like go through the old history of Blackburn Rovers. You didn't know Dwight York played no, for us. No. But, <laughs> fun fact for you, I don't know if you know this, but Blackburn Rovers, Premier League winners. Surely that. Surely you know that <laughs> really? one. Really? Did yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't <laughs> shut up about it. We won the league. So, uh, yeah, we thought we would do a Premier League winners quiz. Uh, brought to you by the man in the sky. Thanks, mate. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do, I guess it's five questions. See how we get on. All right. Is it first one to answer? Yeah, shall we All do right. it like that? Let's do that. Okay, tension. So we can't do lights go down. I don't know. We don't really do that for dr drama, don't we? But I guess drama, dramatic music and... Uh, dramatic scenes. Yeah, I don't know. Tension. And there we go. <laughs> Manchester United have won the most Premier League titles out of any English club, but how many have they won? Oh, it's first to answer, isn't it? Yeah. Nine. <laughs> Got a look of disgust from the 14. producer. Fourteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Twenty in total. I was gonna say. Well, I was gonna say eighteen. They were overrated. I was doing Premier League. <laughs> I was doing Premier League titles only, so I was quite close. All right. Um, okay. Which team won the Premier League in the 2015-16 season? Leicester City. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> it's always them who get mentioned when you go, oh, we're that little team who won the Premier League. <laughs> and then we go, no, we're the other one. We're Rovers, don't forget, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Liverpool won their first Premier League title in 2020 after waiting a staggering 30 long years with little to no success in the competition. But how many points did the side accumulate that season? 94, 97, 99. 97. 90. That was my pick as well, actually. Was it 99, actually, just to make it different? 99. 99. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Got it. Okay, yeah, no, I had a feeling it was 99. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh on the topic of Liverpool. After your first pick. Yeah. Jurgen Klopp. Oh, I know. Jurgen Klopp is leaving. I know, breaking news. That's massive. Yeah, no, it is. Who do you think is going to replace Klopp? Um, I think... To be fair, it could be, I was going to say Wayne Rooney. Oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> no, I think it could be Alonso, to be fair. Oh, oh, There's been a lot of talk around him. Mourinho, some people are saying. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think they'd kick off if it were Mourinho. I think I Alonso. People want Alonso from yeah. what I'm hearing, but now that you've said it, I fancy Wayne Rooney for the yeah, job. I fancy so, yeah. Wayne Rooney, I'm not Rooney in. <laughs> Rooney in, let's start the campaign. What All do right. you think about Gerard? just quickly? What, I'll, 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 I was having a look, he's eighth in the league. It, nowhere near it. I don't you think. don't think he's no, all right for no, Liverpool? No, definitely not. I think even uh, as a legend, as a legend, he can come and have a wave on pitch if he wants. <laughs> like I mean, do what he wants. But I like, think he'd be all right, assistant manager. Yeah. Oh God, I'm not discounting. By the way, Stephen Gerrard. I'm just saying, like, if you want someone to c continue from Klopp and continue what he's doing, yeah. If you want to have a bit of a drop, you can. Well, get Gerrard in. I mean, I'm not even like. I don't no think they should. No, it but. just doesn't. It's not concurrent with where they are now. No. I think if they wanted to continue. You got to look at Alonso, aren't you? Someone like that, I would have. I thought. think Alonso. Or oh, what about Graham Potter? Oh, that's interesting. Mm. That is interesting. I thought he was going to go for England manager, but he aged about who eighty knows? years at Chelsea in two weeks. He didn't did, he, he did. But I still think he's got it in him. You know, I, I think know. he'd better be better as the England manager than the Liverpool manager. <laughs> Do you know what? That's true. That like I would like to see Graham Potter. Yeah. It'd be in interesting with Liverpool. Interesting to see how the, you know, what's going to happen. It would, yeah. Millie, I've just forgot we're doing a quiz, aren't we? We <laughs> I are. Totally we totally forgot back what we're on. It was like question four. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> in the 1995 Premier League season, Blackburn Rovers won the league on the final game of the season. But what was the final score? Liverpool 0, Blackburn 2, 
Liverpool 1, Blackburn 1, Liverpool 2, Blackburn 1. See, See one. it was, yeah, was all it? right, yeah, was yeah, it? yeah, it was, it definitely was. <laughs> I'll tell you how I know that, because like, I once did like a sports dinner where I had to like introduce John Barnes. I remember saying uh, John Barnes was a part of that famous Liverpool team when the, le- when the trophy was lifted at Anfield by Blackburn Rovers oh, uh, in 1995. So Hannah, That's great. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, <laughs> all right, and then final question. I guess we get a point each for that. Yeah. I'm not even counting what, yeah, what's yeah. going on. Here we go. I think I'm winning. Fine. Manchester City won their first Premier League title in the 2012-13 season in what's considered to be the greatest moment in the history of the league. But which former City player got sent off for QPR in the famous game? Joey Barton, Sean Wright Phillips, Nida Manuha. I know. Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> Annoying. I've got that as well. I'm going to go say Sean Wright Phillips to make it different. But. <coughs> I, ho- I was oh, going to say, I hope it's Joey Barton. <laughs> I got kicked off with Joey Barton on Twitter. I, don't I feel thought he was already mate. retired. Yeah, I went viral, though. Happy I thought days. he was rolling around the pitch at that point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, well, uh, you're saying you won that. I don't even know what happened. I think you did, didn't you? I think two, I... 2 2. Was it? 2 2. I think we need a new ref. Right. <laughs> no, I'm happy with that. 2 2. It's a draw. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Uh, right, okay. Um, I think one thing that was mega interesting to me that we don't really talk about is like, uh, say you've got a, a match day here, right? Could you give us like a day in the life? Like, what's Ooh. that like? Right. <laughs> Let's say it's two o'clock kickoff. Yeah. We're here. What time? What time do you get here? Firstly, what's happening on the match Whoa. day? Uh, match day is a very good day, actually. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised. Um, do you have like nervous energy before yeah, you start? Like yeah, you're just like yeah. really ready not, to. Not ready nervous, to go. like it's more like excitement. Like obviously nerves, yeah. but like no, excitement and like. So like you I can't th- stand still type thing. No, that's like, no, like, I'm a little bit calm. <laughs> yeah, but okay. I mean, to be honest, like I said before, like coming here, it's great. Like mm. you know, come to a stadium and then, what did you say? What time? Like yeah, yeah, twelve-ish, yeah. I guess, and then. You just rock up and go to the changing rooms and that. And then that's it, really. You just go through your match day routine, you know, warm ups and things like that. Um, You know, anyone can get involved if they want to. (laughs) (laughs) Just happens, doesn't it? Yeah. um, Yeah. And then warm ups are good because you've got like the music on. and that's where you like proper prepare yourself and you know you see like the fans coming in and that and that's the time where it like it gets real do you know what oh, i mean and you yeah. see like the opposition over there and like when you stood on the pitch and you can see what well you don't really look at what they're doing but you can see them and like you know you've got to be focused at that point right yeah it's good it's good even like the walkouts and that like it's got to be a buzz hasn't it's it? great yeah, yeah. What's walking the, out what's is the great. most I'm going to word this in a bad way. I, I wish I could word it in a smarter way. But what's the most buzzing bit? Like, I, I would think it's when the fans come in. Is it like when you start seeing people, like, you see one or two, you know, and that. Yeah. And it's like everybody's like sort of like rearing you on. Is yeah, that like the yeah. best bit? Yeah. Like, to be honest, like the warm ups are good. Like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it's hard because you just want to play. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Sometimes yeah, you, but... you don't want to warm up, but like. That... Is that your time to get into the mindset? Then? Yeah, like, definitely. That's your time to sort of like channel out everything else. 100%. And... Yeah. Oh, I love that. And then the walkouts. Like, you can't beat that. Yeah, you can't yeah. top that. That's top notch, isn't it? It is cool. It is yeah. cool, I've got to say. People actually might not have seen this as well, but you just scored a worldie the other day, didn't you? Like, <laughs> like it was absolutely mental. Something can we show like it? If, I don't know if it's possible on the editing <laughs> side, but can we show that goal, please? Did you mean to do that? Um, <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> what on. else was I trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. Yeah, it was mental. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, I did. Loved I did. It. <laughs> Let's claim it. Yeah, you might as well. That's gold. I bet you that's gold. It was a bit yeah. windy that day, you know. I'm not going to lie. Was it windy? It was a bit windy. Well, you must have known that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's like golf, in it? Like yeah, I knew it. Yeah. winds. Yeah, no, I'm with you. <laughs> Bang on. So much. Uh, right, guys, I also want to say a massive thank you to uh, another sponsor who have come on board. These guys are banging, and they've sorted us out for life. Look, look at, at that. that. Life Lab Supplements. This is a local company who basically are on top of the game uh these if you are somebody who's training if you're looking to get in shape or anything like that if you are looking for supplements of any sort really these guys have everything you could want and more we had a look at their website their catalog they have so much stuff and it's all categorized in terms of what your goals are so if you have a certain goal something you're trying to achieve 
go on. They'll actually point you in the right direction. If you don't know what you want, they will help you. So uh, this stuff's awesome. Uh, we've got so much shaker bottle there. Look, we've got the gear, everything. Can't move for it, really. Keep tripping over stuff. Um, fantastic. And uh, we really appreciate their support. Uh, so yeah, give them a follow, go and check their stuff out. You can go to lifelab.com or you can find them on socials. And again, I will link you below. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Uh, so I guess we'll wrap this one up. This has been fun. This yeah, is it's been good. It's, it's been cool. really good. And it's not even that cold. This was this was like <sighs> dangerous, I thought, well. like, with, the weather, with the weather lately. We've done well, yeah. But what we always do on show, right? We play that draw the baller thing. Mm. We've got to do it. I'll yeah, we? we've we'll got do to do it. it. I brought the pad. Um, so it's draw the ball. If you haven't seen this before, we've basically got like 30 seconds to speed draw a footballer. We're going to do Blackburn Rovers ones and we get these thrown by our lovely <laughs> producer there. Let me have a go. Oh, never worked that. I'll have mine. <laughs> Thank you. Brutal. Um, so you yeah, like 30 seconds to uh, have a look at who this is. You have to try and guess. I'll guess who it is, yeah. I'm going to wish uh, you lots of luck. So it could be an all-time Rovers player okay. from what I gather. Cool. But, uh, hopefully. We've had some historically horrific... I hope the, the man in the sky has been good to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you ready? You ready. Have you got time? Are you good to go? Okay. Right. <laughs> it's not the worst. I've, done, okay. I've definitely done worse. But okay. Like, okay. I'm nervous. Um, that's good. I like that. It's all right, Bit of a sketch. Could be worse. Rocco Santa Cruz. It worked. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> it's good that one. I like oh, it. I'm delighted with that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I thought it would be tragic. That's really good. Okay. You're, well, the ball oh, has been me. set now, hasn't it? Best well, of luck. Yeah. Yes, it has. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> what could go wrong? Right. My hands are a bit cold. <laughs> Get it in <laughs> earlier. Okay. <laughs> God. Hang on. We're She's struggling. There. I'm struggling. It were tightly wrapped, so I can confirm <laughs> that as well. Pulling in a little sausage, it was. Brilliant, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. 30 seconds. What is that? What was that? I can't even explain. I've got nothing to explain it with. It looks evil. <laughs> What's he looking at? Uh, the ball. He's looking at the ball? He's looking at the ball, yeah. And he's like a psychopath, is he? A balding <laughs> psychopath. Obsessed with the ball. Have you got a guess or not? Uh, I'm trying to think of balding psychopaths, really. <laughs> um, ooh. Should we just wrap, Andy this, Todd. wrap this episode up? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Um, uh, I have to, I have to, I'm going Andy Todd. It's not Andy Todd, No, is it? it's not. I'm really sorry. It's uh, Tim Sherwood. Wow, I'm really Tim sorry. There you go, mate. Uh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> we'll tag you in that. Yeah, let's <laughs> let, us, just... let us know your thoughts, Tim. Put that away. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> and with that, well, we say that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> it's a great way to end. Thank you very much, everybody, for checking out this uh, episode. It's a very special episode for us, obviously. If you uh, if you've enjoyed it, please do subscribe to the channel because we're going to do way more fun stuff like this. Uh, yeah, we are very grateful for any support. Drop a comment and all that if you like. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, leave us a good review. And uh, we should actually tell people where we're going to be, actually. Oh, well, it's occurring to me. Uh, on February 23rd, if you're local in the area, I'm in Darwin with Carl Porter doing a stand-up show at Sunbird Records. Uh, so you'll be able to come down and check us out there. Uh, who's your next game? Is it Sunderland? Mm, we play London City and we're in London. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. If you're in London. If you're in London, <laughs> come down. Otherwise, just have a look at the scores or whatever. Yeah, just go know. on Google. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much uh, for checking out the show. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with another episode next week. So enjoy the football. Peace out. <laughs>